In this presentation, we're gonna record a transaction related to restricted government grants in our not-for-profit organization. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit organization dashboard. We're gonna start off by going over to our Excel worksheet to see what our objective will be. We're currently on the fourth tab, tab number four in our Excel worksheet. And we're going to have a grant here. If I go over to the description on the left-hand side, it says here we have uh, the fund drive that we got cash in, and then we got pledges, and then we've got uh, government grant to be used for education. So it's going to be government grant money that we have to use for a specific purpose, and therefore that means it's going to be a restricted item. So the transaction, the accounts that will be affected, one, cash. Cash is going to go up because we got government grants. The second is going to be contributions, but it's going to be restricted, a restricted contribution because there's been a restriction on how we can use uh, the money. So there's going to be a restriction on it. If we go then take a look at our accounts, then of course, again, cash going up, cash increases, the other side being in kind of like the revenue account. Revenue is, is going up, but... Uh, and I mean a revenue for a not-for-profit, basically donations. However, there's a restriction on it, therefore it's in a restricted item. So here the restricted items are going to be in two separate accounts because that's our, tri our chart of accounts where we have to have two accounts to reflect that. However, when we go on over to our statement of activities, which is kind of like our income statement, then we can say contributions and break it out between the items with restrictions and without restrictions in a column type of format so that's going to be our objective as we go in we need to enter the transactions we need to affect these two accounts and we want to be able to populate this on the financial statements so that we can break out that information now we're also going to want i know i'm scrolling around here I'm just like where are you going here i don't know i'm going to go back down <laughs> we also would like with these restricted items to now be breaking them out since we have more than one restricted item so we might want to track then, of course, what, what are the kinds of restricted items. And we'll take a look at how to do that as well uh, using our tracking features within Zero. All right, so let's go back to Zero, And so we're going to enter this transaction. Now cash has been received, so we can increase the cash account or have the cash received amount. But before we do that, I want to add another restricted item. This is going to be a government grant for education restriction. So I'm going to go to the drop down up top. We're going to go to the settings. Let's go into the settings. And then we want to go into the advanced settings, which are at the bottom where it says looking for advanced settings. And we say yes, it's because that's I'm assuming they want us to click there for looking for them, which they do. And we're going to go then into the tracking category. So we're going to go into the tracking category and the advanced settings. And then in the restricted items on the second column, we have the unrestricted and the restricted. So we're going to go to the restricted items and we're going to add a category down here. And it's going to be, I'm going to call it uh, Gov Grants and then Education. So Gov Grants Education. So then I'm going to say Save. And there it is. So that looks good. So now we have another category that we can then use for our transaction. So then let's go back up to the plus button. And I'm going to go down and say that we want to have a receive money. So money's coming in. So we're going to go into the receive money. And we're going to put it from the checking account. So remember, if you have multiple type of types of things you want to combine together, you might put it into the clearing account and then deposit it in a group if you need to. But I'm just going to put this directly into the checking account here. So I'm going to put it into the checking account and say next. And then we have, and then we're going to say it's from, I'm going to say Gov1. So the government one, this is going to be who we got it from. That's going to be our new contact. And then we'll say this happens on the 4th. So let's bring this on out to, uh, or back to, in my case, to the 4th of January. And then we're going to have an item down below. Now I'm going to select a new item because this isn't a standard type of donation. And I might want it going to a different account. Uh, so for the, so let's have a new item. Select the drop down. We're going to say new item then. And then we're going to have a code, which I'm going to call government grants. And then I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy that, put that in the uh, item name as well. Unit price is not going to be specific, not standardized. So I'll keep that blank. And then we could put it into the, to the sales account for the restricted items. However, we, we might want to break it out. So we might want to break it out. Now, what you want to be careful of is that you don't want to break out basically every 
uh, government grant from every different government. You do not want to have multiple income statement accounts for each basically source of income. However, if you have multiple you know, government grants, you might want to put out that this is a government grant and maybe government and state grants. Again, not the specific agencies or whatever, because then you might have, that would be too much detail, but you might, it might be useful on the line item on the income statement to just say, hey, yeah, these, this is money that came from the government versus restricted items that came from somewhere, from somewhere else, multiple governments. Uh, okay, so you want to be careful again, not to put too many, too many uh, items on the income statement because you could run other reports for it, and that's what you would typically want to do. But I'm going to add another one here for uh, 10... 4020, I'm going to call it. 4020 is the number. And then the account type, we're going to say it's an income account, which they're going to say is um, sales is what we've been putting in. That's just a type of account. So we'll put it in, we'll keep that custom uh, here. And then we're going to put it in the account of government grants. That's going to be the name of the account. It's going to be an income type of account on the income statement. Let's go ahead and say save then. So save no tax affected, nothing, we're not going to purchase the item, obvious, obviously, or, or track inventory for it. So then we're going to say save. And there we have it. And then well, we're going to put the unit price. We're going to say it's for, let's go back to the journal entry. Where's my journal entry? Scrolling back up, it's uh, the 159000. So we'll put here then the price of 159000. And then we have uh, the restricted, unrestricted, and restricted. So we're going to be going into the restricted column. It's going to be restricted. And now we're going to say it's the government grants. So we're going to say government grants. So restricted of government grants. Now notice we probably should, and I'll, t I'll take a look at this later when in the unrestricted. If we're not going to apply it to anything, we should basically put it to, to an, an item that says uh, none or, or not... Uh, not selected so i'm going to actually add an item here that says none so it goes into the none category possibly later and that might help us out that will help us out with our our sorting so just keep that in mind that's for that's for the future but in this case that's what we have at this point in time and so what's this going to do it's going to increase the cash by the 159,000. the other side then go into revenue but being driven by this item to the revenue account of government grants which we just have set up and it's also going to be broken out in more detail by the restricted items of the government grant. So it's going to be in the restricted column. And then we have the subcategory of the restricted column being the government grants. All right. So let's go ahead and save that and then check it out with the, the neat reporting stuff that uh, that Zero has here with the custom reporting. It's green. So that means it uh, makes me feel like it was done right. So I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to go over and uh, go to our our reports here so we're going to be opening up let's open up the balance sheet report and balance sheet report we're going to make the dates going out to 2020 so let's bring this on out to 2020 hitting the drop down january 31st 2020 and then we'll update that report uh, i think i messed up hold on a sec january that's still december January 31st and update that report and so there we have that if we go into the cash account selecting the cash account the cash should be increasing because we got a lot more from this government uh, this government grant scrolling down then there it is so the government grant the 159 then I'm gonna go back up top we're gonna go back to the the balance sheet the other side is going to be in the equity section on the balance sheet because it's being uh, it's a temporary item or a temporary account being an income account. So it's going to be down here within the equity section. Let's go up top and let's right click on this tab up top. I'm going to right click on this tab and duplicate it. So now we get the balance sheet on the right. We're going to go back to the left. Let's open up the standard income statement first. Accounting drop down. Let's open up that standard income statement. So here's going to be our income statement. It's going to be for the year 2020. For the year 2020, I'm going to hold down control and scroll up just a bit to bring it up to that 125%. So it's like really big. Now the report's really big. And so there we have it. So here we have the grants, government grants at the 159. Note again, we added another account to it. So we could have put it basically into restricted income, but we broke it out. It might be something that would be useful to the board 
to break out grants and maybe have another line item for government grants and state grants that might be good for decision making but again you don't want it from specific government agencies or something like that because that's going to be too much detail you know right so that's what you're going to want so and then we're going to have rent down below and there we have it and there's our net income that net income if we go back over to the balance sheet 156 700 is going to be on the balance sheet down below the 156 700 back to the income statement to the left we're now going to go on the tab up top right click on that tab and duplicate that tab so now we have the balance sheet we have the income statement let's go back to the report to the left and now i'm going to open up the custom income statement the worksheet income statement that we made last time so i'm going to select the accounting drop down and i put it into the special income statement here if you made it last time you could also go into reports and it's going to be in the custom reports here because we customized it we made it special so it's a custom report there's the income statement you could find it right there we put the little star that's what puts it in in the uh drop down for us so it's nice and easy so how, how did we make this thing we used the edit the edit layout to add columns which is a which is really a great great uh, tool to have note you can also filter this report we use the filtering items to filter this report and we filter the report using the the classes i'm going to close this back up you can see this more easily on the income statement if i go back to the income statement we're basically filtering this report by the unrestricted and restricted items and and then we added columns based on on these filtering items and these include these items for the unrestricted and these items for the restricted this one now including the government uh, grants so then if i close this back up and we go back to the the worksheet income statement worksheet now we can see that we have it broken out in the government grants and that item uh, should pull up well it's not pulling up right now on the restricted items why because we added another item so we got to edit this report this this over here should be pulling up right here you would think so let's go to the edit down here edit layout below and we added up we added a whole nother restricted item so now we got to put that in here that's and once we do it it'll show up all the time we won't have to do this all the time but we're gonna then go and say it went into the restricted column and and right now we only have time checked off but i want to check off the government grants as well government grants and time and there we have it and then i'm going to say done and our report then should reflect that government grant i'm pretty confident it's going to do so so there it is the government grant is in the restricted is the restricted column so this is the total restricted column uh, at this point in time and so now what we want what we can think about now is basically could we run another report to tie out to the restricted column so we have this item uh, this worksheet that has these two restricted items we might want more detail about those uh, restricted items so we can do another report using an editing layout which will basically be tracking the restricted items and so that'll take a little bit more time want to make another custom report to basically support this item here and then later on we'll do a similar report after we go to the expenses with the unrestricted items so right now you'll note that that in terms of these reports we have this report being a worksheet because it's going to show the unrestricted uh, unassigned and we'll deal with those at a later time so we'll, we'll deal with those and assigning that out, especially this 35,800, which we want to assign to the, the proper unrestricted categories. So we will assign that out. This is helpful to us at this point in time. Then we'll make a report that we can basically only have these three columns, those three columns then matching the format that we would like to give in a more simplified format that we can give to the board, right? We'd like to give something to the board that doesn't include this mess, right? at least not on page one right and we'd like to give them something that's more like like this where we have the three columns here's the income statement broken out uh with restrictions and without restrictions and we don't have all the detail for the restricted and non-restricted items then when they ask more questions about that then we can get into the more detail which in excel would look something like this here's the expenses broken out by the unrestricted items and, and we could get into more detail in those schedules. So this report will look like that. I can make another report, which will just have these three columns that will be used to help us to make our finalized report for that. 
Then we can have a report that'll break out the unrestricted items, which will line up to the total in this report. It'll just give more detail of the categories within it. And then another report that'll give us more detail of the category on the unrestricted items. So that's what we'll do in future presentations. Next time, let's see if we can make a report that will track the current restricted items that we have with it with another custom report next time. That's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.